E3 has always been the birthing canal of the hype train, and this year didn't seem to have much to offer. But as leaks sprouted about upcoming games and possible release dates, this year has a lot to offer gamers. Let's take a look at my predictions of what we'll see at E3 2017. <laughs> Sony and Microsoft promised a dozen games each last year and only delivered about half of them up to this E3. Microsoft had a stellar end of 2016, but Sony had an incredible early 2017. So there are some leftovers and new surprises in store for both consoles. Let's start with Sony. They showcased Days Gone last year and since it has begun production in early 2015, it's very possible that Sony may announce a holiday 2017 release date for this zombie horde action adventure title. Expect to see gameplay of Spider-Man from Insomniac Games, the studio behind Sunset Overdrive and Ratchet and & Clank. A tweet from the developer said Spider-Man won't be coming out after 2017. And there's no way they won't capitalize on the upcoming Spider-Man movie this year. The juggernaut for PS4 this year is most definitely God of War. This emergence of one of Sony's biggest franchises has been a long time coming. And according to the voice actor who plays Kratos, as he tweeted out, God of War 2017. This will be impressive since Sony just unveiled this title a year ago. Gran Turismo Sport GT Sport is in a tough spot. It's been a long time since PlayStation fans had an exclusive racer. GT Sport is highly anticipated and comes with a high level of quality and attention to detail. But Dirt 4 will be out in a couple of months before GT Sport and Project Cars 2 already looks to be the Gran Turismo killer with 30 more cars and 60 tracks compared to the 30 that GT Sport brings. The competition has been putting out yearly top-rated racers over the past 10 years, but Gran Turismo is finally coming. Creepy Uncle Mark Cerny's love child is coming even though no one asked for it. Knack 2. Expect it to run at native 8K at 32 bits. Tugging at the heartstrings of nostalgia of arguably PlayStation's greatest game, The Last of Us 2 will get another viewing at E3 this year. Joel is returning as the main character, and the music is being handled by the composer that has been charged with the Red Dead Redemption 2 soundtrack. The Last of Us sequel will probably be slated for holiday 2018. Uncharted Lost Legacy gameplay is to be expected in the conference with a release date in the holiday 2017 window. This standalone DLC expansion is reported to last gamers anywhere from 8 to 12 hours and will feature Chloe and only set you back 40 bucks. Detroit Become Human is made by the creators of Heavy Rain and is a film noir interactive game expected to release in 2017. So plan on seeing more gameplay at the conference or movie gameplay. Sony will talk about Death Stranding but don't expect to see a release date as Kojima may not have this game ready to unveil until 2018 or later. Sony will steal the entire gaming show with exclusive footage of Red Dead Redemption 2. Rockstar plans on having Red Dead ready for holiday 2017, but Rockstar waits until everything is done and pours over their game with love and affection. And if that means delaying the game three to six months, like they did with Red Dead 1 and GTA 5, then we will happily wait. My prediction of Red Dead 2 is that it will follow the storyline of a young wild John Marston as he was taken in by Dutch Vanderlyn. Rob Weedoff will be reprising his role as John Marston according to my best educated guess. Because the week that Red Dead 2 was teased, Rob Weedoff dropped off of social media. He hasn't posted in months other than to accept friend requests. Sony also has exclusive rights to show Star Wars Battlefront 2. This game will look absolutely gorgeous and be touted as running in PS4 Pro's 4K. Even though the game will run at 1800p, it will be checkerboarded up while targeting 60 FPS and the breadth of content as well as new gameplay features will hype us up to play this game and watch the upcoming movie. Sony will showcase the first gameplay for Call of Duty World War II. 
The majority of gamers are pleasantly surprised to see the series return to real war, and it will be shown in the pros version of 4K. Sony will reveal more Destiny 2 gameplay since they have a one year lock on exclusive expansions. We might be seeing Destiny gameplay before E3, but you can't deny the appeal this sequel will bring if it leaps off of combined content of the original. I expect Sony to announce a price drop of the PS4 Pro from $400 to $350, in anticipation of the $400 to $500 price reveal of Xbox Scorpio. We'll get to that topic in a minute. Remember when I said last week that I would not be surprised if Sony announces plans for PS5? They could announce it even though everyone says they don't need a PS5 to beat the Scorpio, but having games run and look better on the competition may be a hard pill for PS4 gamers to swallow for the next two to three years. Xbox has a tough uphill battle this E3 with a short stack of big games, but they will have the luxury of opening with a console reveal of Xbox Project Scorpio. The Scorpio will be called Xbox One X, or some kind of letter, but I think it would be hilarious if they called it Xbox Five. It's all about games after all, and Microsoft has a few to show at E3 2017. All games shown will be labeled as running on Xbox Scorpio. We will finally see Crackdown 3 showing off fully destructible multiplayer co-op gameplay we'll see destruction that hasn't been seen since Red Faction Guerrilla in 2009. Microsoft is pushing for a holiday 2017 release. I'm skeptical because up to now we haven't seen anything except for this footage shot off of a TV. Rare Sea of Thieves has been hailed by Xbox fans as a totally fun online pirate game. The visuals are simple and more akin to MMOs or MOBAs, but Microsoft will announce a release date for 2017 for Sea of Thieves, and personally, I'm not interested in this game at all. Every year, there is a token zombie game, and State of Decay 2 is a stark contrast to Sony's Days Gone. State of Decay 2 is a true, living and breathing open world where your choices matter. State of Decay 2 is built on the Unreal Engine 4, and with the solid backing by Microsoft, this game could finally have the visuals to match the immersion and gameplay that this series offers. While Sony shows off GT Sport and checkerboarded 1800p60, Microsoft will showcase Forza 7 in blistering 4K60. Microsoft's flagship racer will impress any racing fan with tons of content and the undeniable feel of Forza's racing games that not even Project Cars 2 can beat. It will be a crowded tarmac this fall with Dirt 4, Gravel, GT Sport, Project Cars 2, but I bet that Forza 7 takes podium for racers in 2017. Cuphead is a side-scrolling co-op shooter that looks exactly like a silly Symphonies Disney cartoon circa 1930s. This game has been mysteriously delayed for a year, but it's going to pay off for a release date in 2017. Even though this is an indie game, that didn't stop games like Inside and Ori from winning over the gaming industry. Microsoft will talk about Tacoma, Rise and Shine, Phantom Dust, and this will be the point in the conference where they lose the audience. But they'll wake them back up with an exclusive look of Middle Earth Shadow of War. Microsoft has been partnered with Monolith Studios and Warner Brothers, and Phil Spencer and his team have frequently walked over to the studio to check on progress of this game. Ubisoft has another Assassin's Creed game coming, but even though Shadow of War is derivative of the Assassin's Creed games, they lord over Assassin's Creed in just about every way. Bethesda might share the stage with Microsoft to talk about the release of Fallout 4 VR only on PC and Xbox Scorpio. Todd Howard said that Fallout in VR in VATS is awesome. There is no talk of Fallout VR coming to PSVR, but seeing this incredible game in VR on Microsoft stage might make us go load up our last save in the Commonwealth. Bethesda will also show us the latest Wolfenstein game. Wolfenstein, New Order, and Old Blood are probably the best linear first-person shooters this generation. Machine Games knows how to make incredible games, and this will be a gritty reveal of another great shooter to come to PS4, Xbox One, and PC. 
Far Cry 4 was a great game in 2015, but you know, it was too closely related to Far Cry 3. Rumors of Rockstar shooting a live action trailer in Montana actually ended up being a live trailer for the upcoming Far Cry Old West game, due in September 2017. If you've played Ubisoft's Call of War as Gunslinger, you know that Far Cry in the Old West will be an amazing surprise hit. So what if it releases right next to Red Dead 2? We'll gladly play them both. There are rumors of a Fable game in development with Microsoft through an ex-Lionhead developer. There's one announcement that I can't predict that Microsoft has up their sleeve. Hopefully it's an RPG, possibly something that Microsoft has partnered with Bethesda. Microsoft will take some time to explain Dolby Atmos in the home on Xbox Scorpio. New wireless headsets, other non-gaming tech, but Microsoft will have a great E3. But as it stands, Sony will have the bigger show with a few big games coming and the biggest multi-platform games on their stage. Either way, we are actually in for a hype train of an E3. And a couple of months ago, I would have told you the opposite. I ask a lot of gamers, what game are you looking forward to most at E3? Most of them go right to the big games like Red Dead 2 and Battlefront 2. But we have a good idea of what might be coming, so let's hear it in the comments. What are you looking forward to most this E3? This is Colt Eastwood. Thank you so much for watching and hearing a senile old man's wild-eyed predictions. If you like this channel, please show your support and like the video and subscribe. Also, check me out on Patreon so you can show your support so I can continue to make what I think is quality content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later gamers.